Welcome, my friends. Welcome to Fuel for the Soul, our second edition of 2022. Hope you're staying strong and well, or let's say the best you can in the circumstances we find ourselves in these days. Um, a couple household uh, in-house items uh, to begin. Uh, yes, church left the building um, as a leadership decision of our board from January 2nd, including January 9th, and then this coming Sunday, January 16th. Um, as of last night, we reviewed that, and the church board wishes to reopen again on uh, January 23rd. Uh, so we are planning that. You will have to call in and register your seat, and here we go again. The only thing that could cripple that would be if the government says we have to close down. So right now, we're going to go with it. We've taken our circuit breaker. We've used it, and I think we've used it well, and now we're going back. So just be aware of that, and you can pass the word around. Uh, we continue to monitor the government regulations day to day, and we'll adjust as necessary. And as we all would say, if you do not feel comfortable coming out, don't come out. If you do, you're welcome to come. Please don't bring your cold or possibly COVID with you. Please take care of yourself, monitor yourself, so that we are not being a part of passing it on. I know it's going around quickly, but just that reality. So please be careful. Thank you for your ongoing support through prayers, your financial support. We just so appreciate it. So what do you say about fuel for the soul? What's your pastor have to say today? Well, it comes from a, a wrestling that goes on in his heart. Things that I hear, things that I see, things that are happening around us. And the scripture that comes to mind is a scripture I have right at the bottom of my computer. And I want to begin with that. And then I want to share some challenges to you. Um, Philippians 4.8 declares this, brothers and sisters. Now, that is you and me, my friends. That's us. Those who are in Christ. Christ followers. Christians by title and colors. Uh, community of faith, um, you and I, brothers and sisters. Oh yeah, uh, it doesn't say anything in the scripture uh, about COVID pandemic, zilch. It just says, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think on such things. And might I add, as you think on such things, you will speak such things. I have this verse that reminds me daily to keep my thoughts in the right direction. Now, here's my challenge. Collectively, we need an attitude check, all of us. Um, this pandemic has brought out the ugly side in us. I think about the movie Spider-Man, and I don't follow it, and I haven't watched all of them or anything like that. But I remember one of them where um, one of Spider-Man's um, foes, um, he would have a coating of black. He was a good person inside, but that coating of black made him just a very difficult person. We are allowing an attitude to ooze in where we are forgetting our first love in Christ, and we are focused on being nasty and ugly towards other people. You look around. Check your own heart. Check those around you. Let me explain. Um, this is elementary stuff to some of you, but here it goes. I want to give you a challenge. I don't know if you've watched television or see it in the newspaper. Um, the Canadian Cancer Society is um, doing a fundraiser. Now, I'm not pushing it, but I want to tell you about it. And it's called Dry February. Dry February. And the rules are to stop drinking for the month of February. That's what it is. Now, it's a special fundraiser with a golden ticket. If you have a special occasion and you buy a golden ticket for a minimum of $25 donation and have a night off, they say then you can have a drink. Now, I'm not pushing that, and so don't hear me. But, from that thought, I've got another thought for the church, for us as brothers and sisters in the Lord. 
I call it Zip It February. That's right. Zip it. Um, even begin now. Or maybe we do it through Lent um, and have a spiritual formation taking place in our hearts where we zip it. Zip it when it comes to the negative talk, the regurgitation, the verbal diarrhea um, about the pandemic. Oh, we're going to talk about it. There's normal things you'll talk about, and that's okay. But when we get onto our rants um, and it becomes ugly, um, I would say we should take $10 out of our wallet and put it into a jar. And at the end of the month of February, take that money and give it to a local food bank. How's that? You say, Pastor, you're a little bit whack today. I think that we've got to catch ourselves, my friends. Um, we have been consumed by the rhetoric and talk way too long. Just like those who have found themselves drinking too much, especially during this pandemic, and they need a dry February, uh, we need to take and have a zip it February where we stop talking down to people or at people or about people. Satan is having a heyday and it's becoming ugly. We Christians, yes, might have the same problem. We talk too much and somehow spiritualize it. So here's my challenge. You can laugh at me. You can call me an idiot. You can call me anything you want, but I'm going to throw a challenge at you. Zip it. February. Zip it February. When you're visiting someone, when you're on the phone, when you're seeing another couple having a coffee with them, don't talk about it. Put a sign up. We're zipping it. No pandemic talk. None. And if you do, and if you stumble, and you blow it, you put 10 bucks every time in a jar. And at the end of the month, you give it to the local food bank. <laughs> You say, Pastor, why are you pushing um, words, rhetoric? Well, why are you pushing this? The rhetoric, the dividing of families and friends. I am hearing way too much about families saying, I need boundaries because that's all we talk about. When are we going to talk about how each other's doing rather than about the pandemic and things that we might not even know about? Way too much like alcohol does, it consumes us. And what comes out of our mouths, it comes out of our hearts. That's from the Bible. So take me on my challenge. If you go the whole of February and keep it zipped, I will buy you a Timmy's card, value to be determined, if you identify yourself and you really did it. I'll trust you. If you collect in a jar some money because you blew it, the golden ticket, then bring it to me, and I will deliver it to the local food bank. Do this personally. Do it as a family. Set boundaries, my friends. Let them know your intentions. Heard a couple say, we visited another couple, and we found out after some time on our visit, we hadn't even talked about the pandemic. Good. We need to stop talking and using rhetoric that we do not even know it's true. So I end up with a familiar but maybe not so familiar challenge. And it's called, be the person who breaks the cycle. Remember when I started? Whatever is pure and lovely, think upon these things, and you will speak these things. Well, here you go, as we close. Be the person who breaks the cycle. If you were judged, choose understanding. If you were rejected, choose acceptance. If you were shamed, Choose compassion. Be the person you needed when you were hurting, not the person who hurt you. Vow to be better than what, you broke, what broke you. To heal instead of becoming bitter so that you can act from your heart and not from your pain. We have a lot of hurting people today. We really do. This pandemic has knocked the pudding out of us. We are hurting. And a lot of this anger and bitterness is coming from that. And we can break the cycle as Christ followers. But we have to think the right way so we speak the right way. So my fuel for the soul, my friends, is that we are shining lights of Christ, living in this community, in our families, and we are not all agreeing. 
very much not all agreeing. We need to learn how to love on people, encourage people, and walk alongside them. I lay that challenge to you. So, maybe you want to start now. Maybe in February. Maybe during Lent, where you say, this is zip it time. We're not talking about it. I'm not talking about the small things about the pandemic. Those are reality things. I'm talking about the rhetoric and the ugliness and how we point fingers. Let's stop it. Let's, let it begin with me. Not expecting the other person. Let it begin with me. So I challenge you. Will you take my challenge? Let's zip it. Thanks for joining us. Have a great week.